गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन मैं सर डॉक्टर विद्युत दास इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी इन द हल्दिया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी हल्दिया टूडे आई डिस्कस अबाउट द द डेटा स्ट्रक्चर व्हाट इज द ओवरव्यू ऑफ द डेटा स्ट्रक्चर बिकॉज दिस इज द इंट्रोडक्टरी क्लास सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द डेफिनेशन so data structure is the representation of the logical relationship existing between individual elements of the data in the computer in other word a data structure is a way of organizing all data items that consider not only the elements stored but also their relationships data structure why the data structure is required because data structure is organizes uh, in store organize the data for adding modifying and deleting the data easily and efficiently so program consists of the two part one is the algorithm and another is the data structure so what do you mean by the algorithm an algorithm is a step by step procedure to solve a particular problem and when you solve the particular problem it requires some data so when the data is required it should be stored into the computer and when it is the stored into the computer it should be in organized way by which we can easily add delete and modify the data so data structure normally categorized into two groups first one is the primitive data structure another is the non primitive data structure so this is the classification of the data structure the primitive data structure and non primitive data structure inside the primitive data structure that is the integer float character pointer this is the basic data structure and inside the non primitive data structure there is two types one is linear another is the non linear inside the linear data structure array linked list stack queue are present and non linear data structure is the graph and tree so primitive data structure is the basic structure and directly operate upon the machine instruction so integer float character constant pointer etc fall in this category so what is the non primitive data structure the primitive data structure is uh, the non primitive data structure is derived from the primitive data structure and it is the list stack queue tree graph these are all are the non primitive data structure now the different operation of the data structure create select update searching sorting merging and delete so if you are considering a basic the first you can say it is the first data structure that is the array so how to create the array how to select an element from the array how to update the array how to searching an element from the array and then how to merge the two array and finally how to destroy the array these are the different different operations on the data structure similarly in the stack queue linked list are the other data structure and this type of operation will be performed in those data structure so now the description of various type of data structure the first one you have already know this it is an array so array is a collection of the homogeneous data items that all are the similar data type so if the array store all the uh, um, all the integer numbers otherwise it is store the all of the character numbers or floating point numbers the all the numbers are same data type next the how to declare an array so it is the declaration of the array and arr is the name of the array and it should be declared by the user so you can change this name and how to access an array you can use the index to access the array so if you are writing arr of n that means it will 
एक्सिस एन माइनस वन एलिमेंट ओके दैट मीन्स इट इज द फास्ट एलिमेंट एरे ए आर आर ऑफ जीरो दैट इज द फास्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ द एरे एंड ए आर आर ऑफ नाइन दैट मीन्स इट इज द लास्ट एलिमेंट बिकॉज द टोटल साइज ऑफ द एरे इज टेन नेक्स्ट हाउ टू रीड एन एरे एंड हाउ टू राइट एन एरे दैट मीन्स हाउ टू प्रिंट एन एरे by using this code so these two line are used for reading an array so you know how to write a scanf function to read an element from the user side so someone is given some number that is taken by the computer and stored into your computer by using the scanf function so if you are writing the scanf function inside the for loop that means it will be continuously taken the number from the user side that means here it is starting from 0 to 9 that means 10 number you can enter by the user uh, and then it will be taken and stored into the computer and when you are print a single line that is the printf function that means it will be printed continuously four elements of the array uh, 10 elements of the array next this is the operation of the array that is similar the creation of the array traversing means it is the uh, you are visiting or you are printing all the elements of the array insertion of new elements into the array deletion that one elements you need to be deleted from the array the insertion and deletion of the array is difficult because when you want to insert an element in a particular position all the elements that placed after the first uh, after the inserted element will be shifted right and if you are deleting an element then all the elements that present after this will be shifted left so modification some element may be modified from this array and merging of this two array so now it is the stack so stack is a another linear data structure it is a collection of linear data and here in this uh, here if the restriction is there with there is the one end only in, inside your stack so only one end is allowed for insertion and deletion but other end is blocked so always you can insert and delete from the top top means at the top element you can able to insert one element that is the after the top element and you can delete from the top element of a stack so it is the structure of lifo if it is a stack that means it is the some first one you are entering here then second one you can enter here that means it is the one it is the two so you can pop the two first so that is the uh, technique of the stack so uh, this is the diagram of the stack so there is a two operations one is the push operation and on another is the pop operation is this so uh, push operation means if you want to insert an element into the stack then it is the push operation and if you want to delete an element from the stack then it is the pop operation okay so there is two operations up there next what is the different how to implement your stack using the array and using the pointer when you are using the pointer it is a dynamic implementation it is the static implementation next it is the queue it is the another linear data structure that is followed the fast in fast out data structure that means if you are inserted the element at the queue fast will be deleted first that means it is like your this one so this is the first element this is the second element so first element will be deleted first so queue has two pointer you can say one is the rear another is the front so always you are inserting the elements from the rear and you are deleting the elements from the front so this is the front 
and this is the rear okay now and real life example is the railway reservation rho r a example of the q so each new person come and stand at the end of the row and person getting their reservation confirm get out the row from the front end so that is the structure of the queue so elements one by one at first 10 is inserted then 20 then 30 then 40 then 50 so now it is the front and it is the rear it is the last if you want to insert another element suppose 60 then it will be inserted here and if you want to delete an element so it will be deleted then so the when you are deleting the front is increased by one that is the f and if you are inserting an element the rear will be increment and rear is shifted here so this is the q so q is similarly implemented using the stack sorry using the uh, array you as a static implementation and a pointer using the dynamic implementation so now it is the list so list is a another linear data structure it belongs to the non primitive data structure and it contains each element of the list contains two part one part is the data part and another part is the link part that link to the next node that means it holds the address of the next node so different type of list are singular list doubly linked list singly circular linked list and doubly circular linked list there is different type of linked list are there so now the next data structure that is a non-linear data structure it is the actually the non-linear data structure because all the elements is stored like that and in a hierarchical fashion so it is not linear so tree represents a hierarchical relationships among the data next this is a tree the first element that is the A, it is also called the root element. This portion is the left children, that is the right children. Or you can say it is the left subtree and it is the right subtree. Now go to the graph. Graph is a mathematical nonlinear data structure capable of representing various kinds of relationships among the data elements. So it is used in the geography chemistry, engineering science, etc. And the definition of the graph, it consists of a V and E, that means V is the vertices and E is the edges. So this is the example of a graph. So these are the vertices and these are the edges. And it is a weighted graph that means if H has a direct weight is there, if H has a weight, so it is the, this H is a weight is the 10, the weight of this H are the 6 like that and this H are directed, so it is a directed weighted graph. Undirected graph, there is no direction. You can go from the V1 to V2 or V2 to V1, V1 and V2 are the vertices. So different type of graphs are there, directed graphs, undirected graphs, simple graphs, weighted graphs, connected graphs and non-connected graphs. So I today I will give a total overview of your uh, data structure but we are not discussing about the detail of this. So in the next class, from the next class I will discuss the detail about the each chapter. So now I suggest few reference books. So that is the my preferred book is G.S. Baruja and another book is this one and you can also follow this book for your reference. Next.
थैंक यू देखो तो ये क्यों लो अवस्था